Oh, it's been a long time. What's happening, freaks, geeks, and other unusual beeps? It's me, Nico the Odd, and I am back with something that I've been waiting for over a decade for. <clears throat> As you on the channel know, I am a big Alan Wake fan. In fact, I started a playthrough of the Alan Wake remaster that, unfortunately, I have not had time to finish because, you know, adult responsibilities and whatnot. But it doesn't matter now because the whole reason I was playing it was to get hyped for this game. It's Alan Wake 2, peoples. Alan Wake 2, peoples, let's go! Oh my god, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I haven't even tried anything. I just opened the game. I know the game's got some serious play. Running requirements for PC, which my PC barely makes the mid-tier of what it wants. It's time for an upgrade, but that is neither here nor there. Um, so yeah. I just let it, I let it do the automatic settings because I couldn't play Alan Wake 1 when it first came out in high settings either. So, you know, what's the, what's the, what's the difference, right? What's the difference? Now, hopefully there's not a lot of stutter or anything. Hopefully we're just overestimating what we need, but it doesn't matter as long as it runs smoothly. So let's do this. Um, story normal or hard? Ooh, this is a little bit of a, a little bit of a conundrum for me. We're gonna go with normal. Normally, I would just do story because that's what I care about, but let's go normal. I am a little bit of a veteran to this type of game. Not particularly Alan Wake, but I have played quite a lot of survival horror games in my lifetime. And I'm shit at all of them. Pardon my, pardon my French. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. A trap by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Monsters wear many faces. Harry back too, Jesus. I wasn't expecting to be controlling full man ass here. Okay, he can sprint. Can he do anything else? Nope. That's it. I mean, not not exactly what I wanted to be looking at right now. that told me to do and kind of went away fast. Some questions. I, 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 how insane is Alan after all these years? Can you hear me? Whoa. Come on. We go. Wait, no, don't leave me. I'm, I'm cold and flapping in the breeze. Hey, guys, guys? People? I mean, I know I'm, I'm naked and look mildly like a shaved animal, but I promise you I'm not naked, but I mean, I mean. Huh. That was, that was unnerving. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I've seen like none of this game. I've been purposely avoiding it. Hello? Get this shit on out. 
this shit on mount. Oh, it's the fucking crows again, ain't it? Oh, Jesus. That's a very hairy man. Oh, his giblets was right there. I don't want to see his giblets. Oh, they're killing the atmosphere. Um, look, Shadow Dudes, I don't, I don't have a flashlight or a gun. Fuck that. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm not the gingerbread man. Well, yeah, it already seemed like you got better stamina than ammo. Oh, Jesus! I can't protect myself from that. <laughs> oh, that was a good jump scare game. That didn't sound good. There we go, my sensitivity is up as high as necessary. Oh, hey, hey, it's a light! There's a light! Over at the front. Oh, I can't go over? Oh, that's bullshit. I should be able to go over that. It's gonna be a little jittery, just cause, oh, um, hey. Lights! Oh no, those aren't lights! Wait, why aren't the lights working? This way. Oh god! Oh, Jesus! I mean, there's nowhere. There was nowhere to go. There was no way I was gonna live through that right now. Oh, that's graphic. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that, is that FBI from the first game? Just sad. Seriously though, was that the was that the FBI dude that was chasing Alan in the first game? I think that was. It said Hemingway. It's the only person ever called Alan Hemingway. Of course, he just used every fucking author name he could think of in that game. That's a that's an opening. Well, pun pun not intended. Oh, we've waited so long. We've waited so long. Yo, what's up, Marsh Cat? Welcome to the stream. Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, oh, it's Springs. so good. No spoilers. Yeah, right, no spoilers. I'll Give let me you episodes. get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Mr. Anderson. Logan like thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Damn fine cup of joe. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. 
Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You know, when I said Anderson, I didn't know her. Lead. I forgot Taking her last name is Anderson. That was a completely not intentional joke. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Yeah, you joke about shit like that, but it has happened. <laughs> also, I'm impressed with her hair. That's, um... They're doing, they're doing good by us. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. I'm not used to Epic having. I think I hear kind of someone. Off a little bit. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Mulligan is a name that sounds familiar. I don't really remember everybody's name from the first game. It's been a while. I'll remember them if I see them, though. Maybe. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Wait, what? Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Hold the fuck up, Alex Casey! The federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, down at the crime scene. He's it, real. It's not what you call the sharpest it's... axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Um, we're just gonna... What can you tell us about the crime scene? Can't go through that. Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. Yeah, I remember <laughs> Thornton now. Well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. You know, you could just tell me. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. They got it, Thornton. <sighs> okay, so, 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 to explain Before my freak out. the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Okay, so, uh, case board. Okay, that's neat. the mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. 
it, we'll, we'll look at these in just a second. So to explain my freak out about her partner's name, Alex Casey, if you've never played the original Alan Wake, is the name of Alex Wake's most popular character in a book that he was writing, a book series he was writing, and he killed Alex Casey in his last novel, I think? before he went missing? Either way, it's fucking weird that guy's name is Alex Casey. I mean, it could just be coincidence, but that's not exactly how this universe works. All right, so goals. Control for goals. Goals, goals. I hit the right button. It's kind of frozen, okay. All right, case port is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues in progress through the investigation. I can move around, see goals. Uh, you can use W. Okay, W is the. Um, you can use mouse wheel to zoom in. You can move the cursor. Okay, that's not super complicated. Also, I felt like you kind of over-explained that for me, in terms of movement. You're now free. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's uh, let's look at everything. Murder methods, slight differences, okay. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other com uh, commonalities. Head lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloated, bruising on the wrist. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Perry Wolf, store owner. Perry Wolf, that name's familiar. That name's familiar. I could just be like overanalyzing this myself, but that name's familiar. Remove strange tattoos. All bodies experience bloating. Deep gash in the chest. Missing heart. Bruising on the wrist. Slight difference in the murders. Bloating. Only commonality in the bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Well, I mean, having your heart ripped out tends to do that to a person. Um, I did hear wolves. She doesn't know that we heard wolves, but we heard wolves. Killer profile. Postmortem tattooing of the body. Murder tires have no common traits. Chest trauma resembles am animal butchery techniques. Okay. Crime scene me. Okay, case file. I don't have any more case files. Good to know. E? Get this map. That's neat. I kind of like this. Now, this feels like control. I might go fuck the front on that. It feels like walking through the hotel in, in control, and that's not a bad thing in my opinion. Oh, is that your husband and kid? That's cute. What's this? I see you're already oh, hard at work, Anderson. Close I mean, to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Okay, so I can just Fucking see nature. I can just open it like that. Cool. So I can go in there anytime I want to. That's neat. I hope the stream looks well. I can't tell because it's always choppy on my end when I'm streaming. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson. You're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Yeah, they get shot in the ass. Real funny, Anderson. What this is? Rampage of rental cabins. Unidentified man attack vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday. And I didn't even think of barbecue. I am not reading most of this out loud. I'm just doing this because it's easier for me right now. An idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked the park masoners, causing chaos and destruction in the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which has been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attack was still at large, why false police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Witnesses to the crime were visibly shaken, one of whom stated, One minute we were laughing and toasting marsh some marshmallows. Next we heard screaming coming up from the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kirk Mills. No. 
lost it. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said, Mikey appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly, my dog starts barking his head off, and the psycho guy comes crashing through the trees. I don't think I'll ever feel safe in the forest again. I don't know where these voices are coming from. It's just happening. Representative from rental cabin to uh, choose to remain anonymous and want to remind customers, if you have plans to stay in our lovely cabins later in the summer, please get in touch with us and stay, as we may need to rejigger some, <laughs> some of the reservations based on the state of the cabins you have rented with us. Um, I don't, I don't think anybody's going to be renting cabins in the area for a little while. The representative went on to further remind the future potential guests of the wonderful amenities that can be found in their, com in their com company's brochures and on the website, which is real nice, state of the art. My nephew made it He's real computer days. Ah, uh, Bright Falls don't ever change. Bright Falls own viral uh, virtual baking channel. Though. Little Sally Upton's whole family erupted and cheered when she won a big match this weekend. Was she playing soccer? Tennis? No. In this brave new world that we live in, uh, we live in, her family is cheering her on as she won a match in a game that exists only in Information Super Highway. The game in question was Mega Baking Star, which players compete to tastiest, uh, compete and make the tastiest treats and sweets, and sweetest eats for their virtual online judges. Bright Falls, congratulations. Wait, how does, how does that, is it a video game or are you actually baking? I have questions and I need them answered. Does a hike a day keep depression away? It might be bright sunny in July, but never too soon to start worrying about the gloomy months of autumn ahead. That's right. In the grand scheme of life, those dead depressing days are just around the corner. Have you ever, have you been taking your vitamin D? Probably not. But for all of you thinking, there's got to be another way. There's good news. Hiking has been proven to have incredibly beneficial uh, benefits to your health, mental health, and emotional health. So get on out there and do it. Just don't forget to take a flashlight. Just give them, hey, 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 you're cute. The Hartfield reunion took place this weekend when Miss, Mrs. Amanda Smith was reunited with her beloved dog, Coffee. That's a good name for a dog. TV, as his owner refers to him has been missing for three days and miss smith was afraid that she would never see her best friend again when we got the call i couldn't believe my ears she said must have been dreaming am i dreaming at least seven or eight times it's actually nine times confirmed brought ranger stevenson the man responsible for finding the wayward canine it's great that you get to give those kinds of calls it feels and i feel real grateful to have the opportunity what, with all the predators out there, usually you tell them folks you found the dog dead or the cats eaten, you know. And I don't, uh, and I, so it felt real good to get some good news, even if copy being this kind of rough shape. The fur will grow back, I'm sure. Well, I suppose that's all I should say about it. Hmm. I don't feel good about that dog. Did I have to read that stuff? No, but I wanted to. I appreciate him waiting for me to get done with that. He's a, he's a good partner. You know, I think he's a fictional character. Well, I mean, double fictional character. Starting fires is prohibited. Well, I mean, I was Stairs trying to around. keep up with you, bro. You okay to jump down? Say yes. Are you? Mirror Peak, the mightiest, the mighty mountain in the distance is no, none other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Calden Lake. From the right angle, it is beautiful reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Hmm, you know, this place is all about mirroring things. waiting for one of the town people to go on a, a rant about the FBI. But I guess that guy before wasn't the dude from the Not a bad game. place to get murdered. Been. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing.
Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. like this deputy thornton i take it that's me at your service ready to get this case solved now the body's behind the store come on i'll show you so the fbi huh yes you can that's read. so cool. i'm proud of you hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob you forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You no. guys hiring? Boy, he's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? I feel like there's so much more I should be looking at, but I'm not sure, like, if I can come back or not. They don't like breaking the pace either. Now this is the scene of the crime. Oh, that's we giblet. Found him on the table. That's giblet. And we didn't touch nothing. Let's try not to look at the giblet. And stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? I'd rather not look at him while his bits are out. With Body her. is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Okay, case four. So. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Consistent with the previous murders, that is the question. Okay. Objectives are viewable at the case board and your goals. Okay. Best to get the crime scene. Well, I know that. Alright, well, let's go. Check this out. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. We sell those straps where I work. I am a fucking nerd. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Over here. Major chest trauma. Think. Am I supposed to put it up here? I mean, yeah, it's connected. I'm really confused as to how I'm supposed to put it. <sighs> Heart found. Newly discovered clues can be placed to open on the open question. It doesn't make sense. Did I just click the wrong thing? Uh, see. Look at that. Look around. Actually, I'm curious as to what I'm supposed to do here. This is all new stuff, so you'll have to excuse me for stumbling through it. You didn't have this mechanic before. <clears throat> Can I replace them? The open question. I don't know what the open question is. There we go. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. 
This makes four murders that we know about. Clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. If you can advance your, if you advance your investigation, new questions will be unlocked and update your goals. Get to the victim. We have questions about the victim and the killers. We have no more clues. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Well, Multiple we people were here. Multiple killers? One could say it's even a cultish activity. That's clearly a cult. I have seen far too many movies to let me know that that was a cult. A large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Yeah, he certainly did die there. Is there anything else in the area? I mean, he got out of the water naked, so I'm not really sure how we're going to find out who he was. Also, I am still fairly sure that this was the, the, the FBI dude that I'm missing. Indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. So we're not done investigating the crime. Did scene. they plan for the murder to I happen here? Up there. I didn't see. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. It was, was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. Agent Nightingale, he I knew it. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Interesting. Also, be right back. and it drives my cats crazy, so that's a little bit of quiet. Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. All right, so those are for later. My brain is still trapped for completely useless information. That's the only reason I remember who Nightingale was. I couldn't remember his name, but I remember the fucking FBI dude. Anything here? Can I go this way? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. A creepy twig sculpture? Don't put the 
marks. What the fuck was that? You can use to activate flashlight. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. What can I use to activate Saga's flashlight? It doesn't say, so let's see. Um, oh, cool. I can just change the difficulty if I want to. Cool, so if I think this is too hard, I will. There we go. That's a little glitchy. It didn't say what button the person, unless I just missed it. What is with the marks? Let me be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say that the lake is a uh, caldera. Something formed by an erupting volcano, or the sinkhole it leaves when this wake. What if that's not true? What if some, this is something else? Something less natural, much more man-made. Intentional? They say the lake is not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is hiding, uh, is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies secret machinery ready to be activated. The press of a button. The people with the button. They're in that big house and on, by the lake, preparing it, you know. First drawing. Waterline, real caldera, is made up from a volcano, lava. Second drawing. It's a little, a little awkward. Bouncing over these is a little awkward when you're trying to read them. At least for me, it, it just doesn't fit my natural movement. Second drawing, waterline, engineered, structure, strange machines. Oh, that's just odd and terrible. about the victim though. Or where to find out stuff about the victim. Hey Casey. What's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson. Just one case without the A triangle. I don't get it. Yes you do. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, I'm on Casey's side right now because that made no goddamn sense either. I'm trying to look around and find shit, bro. The problem is, I don't know what I'm looking for. Is there some way in this house over here? Maybe. Oh, actually. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. What did I see? Blocked. They really don't want people coming in here. So that's locked. inside Confused, I should take a look around for a way to open this thing wash your hands take the chicken up the fridge take a nap 
Wash your hands. Wash your hands. I saw something. Wash your hands. I guess this isn't right. Wash your hands. Take the, take the chicken out the fridge. I guess I should write these marks down because I'm actually not going to remember them if I don't. Luckily, I have a handy dandy notebook here. I didn't spend years helping to raise my nephew to remember that or anything. Okay, the pet marks down. They're decent on them. Chicken out the fridge to take a nap. Be in here or in there? I'm guessing it's in there. Do this before we go any further. Take a nap. So it'd have to be in there. Well, Although you can take a nap on a couch, so I mean, it'd be easier. We're gonna assume I'm in the bed here. Hey, I'm smart. You don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. I mean, how you gonna stop me there, bud bud? Hmm? Hmm? How you gonna stop me? You can't stop me. Okay, let's see if there's anything. Or nothing for the victim. Still later stuff. Look for that. Talk to someone. Okay. Oh! This is gonna talk to Casey. He might know something about Nightingale. Did you get lost, Anderson? So Always. you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. Uh, that's right. I don't think... I don't think Nightingale's actually working as FBI when he showed up here looking for stuff. So... So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Oh, a lot Probably of bad things. Probably something this town wants to forget. Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about... Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. They planned for the murder to happen here, passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now?
profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind. Place to get inside the head of suspects and victims. This mug always cheers me up. Huh. <laughs> Cute, kid. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. I mean, I don't know what happened to him during here? those 13 years, but I know how he ended up there. Up from the lake that's not a lake. Up. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Huh. Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. You know, I've really got to get away from his fucking plot. Casey, ass, huh? let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. I mean, you can come with us. 